Good afternoon from the CBS 19 newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. The immigration crisis will dominate President Obama's visit to Texas. After his arrival in Dallas, he's expected to meet with Governor Perry and local faith leaders. They will discuss solutions to cope with the thousands of children who have crossed the border into the U.S. After that, he's bound for Austin for a fundraising event. From goats to chickens, animals are a part of life on farms and ranches. But what about in someone's backyard? An East Texas homeowner is upset about the vast number of animals in her neighbor's yard. But what the law says about it may surprise you. What you need to know tonight. A veteran member of the Gilmer Police Department has been named police chief. The announcement came at yesterday's council meeting that Mark Case will be filling the position. He's been with the department 18 years and replaces James Grundon, who resigned last month. Well, mobile phones have quickly replaced landlines in many people's homes. Some big companies say there are several benefits, though, to keeping a landline, but most Americans stick with their cell phones anyway. We'll show you just how many people have dropped their landlines and what East Texans think about it. It is your very last chance to snag a part of the Gallery Main Street's latest exhibit in Tyler. Each of these six by six paintings done by artists and people from the public are now just 10 bucks. All the money goes to Tyler's Main Street Department. You can buy them until noon tomorrow. Join us for all that tonight on CBS 19 News.